Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to show something is a basis and a space in linear algebra. Now, when it comes to a basis, we often denote that set B, and it's a pretty important concept in linear algebra to show that something is a basis in a vector space. Now, the basis is denoted by V, and, vector, and space is typically denoted by V because it's a vector space, typically. Now, there's two conditions to show that a set is a basis. One, you have to show linear independence. And two, you have to show that the set B spans the vector space. Now, let's quickly demonstrate the linear independence criteria. Now, the idea here is that if you have a series of elements in the basis, potential basis, if you will, then the only way that this equation can be true a1, v1 plus a2, v2 plus a n, v n is equal to zero, where v1, v2, v n are elements in B. The only way that this equation can be true is when the constants a1, a2, all the way to a n is equal to zero. So in other words, the only way that, and for linear independence, the only way for this equation to be true is if, a, if the constants are all equal to zero. Now, to show that the span criteria holds up, you have to show that every element in V is a linear combination of all the elements in set B. So to show that something is a basis in a vector space, you have to show linear independence, which is this criteria, and show that the basis spans V, that every element in V is a linear combination of all the elements in B. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to show that something is a basis and a space in linear algebra.